Hey, what's going on guys? Ryan Moffitt here with Addiction Hope and hope you're doing great. I want to talk to you a little bit tonight about how to prepare for the holiday season with your pursuit of your recovery. And let's just be honest here for a second. As much as we love Christmas time, Thanksgiving time, uh, the, you know, the red cups come out at Starbucks, there is something magical in the air for sure. And there's just this good sense of goodwill, this sense of life's going to be good. Things are going to be different. But I don't know if uh, you guys are anything like me. We can believe that and we can even plan that. But if we're not diligent about executing that plan, life happens. And as you know, family is complex and spending more time with uh, your adult children, or maybe your uh, adult siblings, or your adult brothers and sisters, and you get together and you're in tight quarters, you're connected to, in long periods of time together. I don't know if your family is anything like mine. I got a great family, but man, things surface when, when you're living together so close. And so as you think about this Thanksgiving and this Christmas, how can you prepare yourself? How can you have actually a mind shift so you go into Christmas and the holiday seasons with a different mindset? I want to suggest uh, three things to you to get ready. Number one, um, I want to encourage you that this year you create healthy boundaries as you think about your uh, calendar and your commitments with your family. Uh, some families have an unspoken rule that if you're not at every event, you're not at every dinner, you're not at every party, you're, you're just, you know, you're basically blackballed out of the family. And I want to tell you that you need to know where your own heart and where your own recovery is at. You need to be in touch with what's going on and you need to make healthy boundaries. Boundaries are about taking authority of your life in a manner Instead of trying to appease everyone and spin plates, you need to know what you can and commit to and what you can't commit to, and you need to stick to those uh, commitments. The second thing I want to tell you is cultivate and maintain the healthy rhythms that are already existing in your life. If you're on an exercise uh, program, if you're on a um, nutrition plan, a nutrition program, you need to keep those things because I think what happens is we get into the the craziness and the late nights and this and that and the other thing. And next thing you know, all the commitments that we made in our life that are part of our holistic healing, they're gone. And that's part of the process of our recovery plan that God made us mind, body, and spirit. And yes, we need to renew our mind. Yes, we need to renew our spirit through scripture and through prayer and through church and fellowship with God's people. But man, part of the renewal process and the recovery process is your commitment to the rhythms of your life. And the last thing I want to uh, tell you uh, on this video is attend a recovery meeting every day if you can. Every day. I've got a, a great friend. He, I'm so proud of this guy. He's about a half year now into his recovery process. He goes on vacations. He works out of town. But this guy told me, Ryan, it doesn't matter where I am. He was just in Hawaii last, last week. He goes, I don't, it doesn't matter where I am. I find a recovery meeting and I go every day. And so if this guy can do it in, on his uh, vacation in Hawaii, you've got to plan. If you're going to be traveling and out of your area, find a recovery meeting. AA is about coming together as a community of broken people and admitting your need to God and to each other. So find those things, leverage those tools, and God bless you and have an awesome, awesome holiday season. Thanks.